So what's up everybody? It's me, it's me, True Star Screamer, and we got something really cool here. Uh, technically this is something that came out in 2023, but um, I don't care. This is the Combatants Fight for Glory, uh, Big Red Horn. This is an LA Comic Con exclusive, and this is by uh, X-Ray, Zare, Toys, I, I can never pronounce it right. But I don't care. This thing is absolutely awesome. The art looks amazing on here. You know, cartoon work of this guy. Uh, they've got minotaurs. They've got gladiators. But there's just something about this guy that just looks absolutely badass. Uh, this is a slipcover box. So we can just take this off right here. Oh, oh. In theory. Uh, I'll be right back. Take two. Take three. Yeah. Zezray Toys, X, X Ray's Toys, Zezray, but this is their Fight for Glory, not Fight for Fury. Ketuga the Bighorn. I love this picture. Great shot of the figure itself. Black and white version of that comic stuff. More awesome photography. So they do those Gladiator Girls. They've got the Gladiators. Nickname the Bighorn. Ethnic. Moritarian, like a like a Minotaur, I guess. Uh, Lannister, uh, Lannister brought a real beast back from Africa. Katuga would raise his horn, his body temperature during a fierce fight, becoming stronger and faster. His skin turning red. He could easily overturn a chariot. No object can stop him when he sprint. Because perfect English. But yeah, this looks amazing. But let's talk about the figure. So here is Katuga, Ramhorn, Redhorn, the Redhorn, out of the packaging. By the way, how you guys like the new lights? Does it work? Let me know in the comments. Uh, this is absolutely awesome. I remember if, when I did the card here, Memory Toys, War Bear video, where I was talking about how he had that gladiator garb that just seemed kind of faking it. Yeah, this is not... Uh, there's a it's just so much awesome here uh, this gear it does not uh, buckle which is great that means there's nothing to pop off uh, the, just you can look here at all the details the leather is cracked again there's a wash over here um, all the buckles here this is all soft plastic that's all painted um, I love the fact, I don't know if this was, it's like a gladiator helmet that they just decided to fuse onto his belt buckle. So if you give somebody a hug or if you just ran into them, you can absolutely do some damage. Uh, the gauntlets themselves are nicked and cracked and these spikes are great. Uh, the whole body itself has this gorgeous wash over it. You know, when I first saw this guy, I actually thought it was almost a remake of the Memory Toys uh, Orc Warrior. And this guy seems a little bigger than that. So I'll definitely be doing a comparison in a little bit. But uh, underneath this, he does have some soft goods as well, like a, lo a loincloth down here, which is nice. I've got the great wraps around here. It's just overall a great presentation. Uh, the fur has got multi-texture on it, different colors on here. You know, so it just gives it some beautiful, beautiful gradients. Uh, his mouth, he's got the discolored teeth, and the jaw, by the way, is articulated. So, uh, even the eyes are well painted, and the horn's got a band on it, too. This is. They use this body for a minotaur, which is cool and all, but I think. I've never really seen, like, a rhino version of a minotaur, so I, this is just unique. Up, and he's got his fingernails painted and his toenails are painted. Articulation, uh, nothing to write home about, but nothing to complain about. Uh, single jointed arms, got our, got our 90 degrees, but he's got massive muscles. Uh, he does have a butterfly joint in the shoulder. It's not much, but it can do a little bit. It can move, it wiggles a little. So, 
I mean, yeah, I wouldn't mind that being a little deeper, but... Actually, I wonder if there's a, that's a ball joint instead of a butterfly. I bet if I heated that up, and pop, I could pop them out and find out. But, uh... Waste. There's a ball joint in here. So I can give him an ab crunch. Pretty nice. Back him up. Pretty nice. Uh, the head's on a, on a barbell. I will say, this is a little on the loose side. Might put a little bit of kiki in here. Uh, he can look up about that high, and then doesn't look down that much, but if you take advantage of the uh, waist swivel, he looks down. Nice T-pose on the arms. A double joint of knees, so we get past 90 degrees. Ankle rocker. Legs. Yeah. They do what I need them to do. So... Also, the soft goods underneath of it are great because they do not hinder any of his movements, which is a wonderful thing. Yeah, the guy isn't the most, again, not a ninja, This is a, but this is a tank. This is exactly the type of guy you want wading into the middle of a battlefield, and he hits those, pose, those types of poses really well. Um, I think I'm going to do this, try to do this real time. Just a nice basic running pose with that horn on there. I love doing this stuff without editing because that just, that just proves that it can be done. And wait for it. And he charges beautifully. Awesome. Let's talk accessories. So let's talk accessories. Uh, he's got two open gesturing hands. Again, got the nice fingernails on here. These are, again, really nice. Even the, uh, I like how the palms have got, you know, texturing to them. We've got two fists, so we can have them knocking the block off of somebody or pound, you know, pounding some sand. Now, he comes standard with the gripping hands because he has this glorious war mace here and this is so well done i've got metal texturing on the ends i've got a wooden shaft for it to go through and then we've got the wrappings around here everything has i said a texture to it the metal again looks nicked up nothing looks perfect i absolutely love this and you know, that just goes into his hand right here. The fingers are pretty pliable. I did not have to uh, heat that up. This is just going in as you see it, uh, just work it in. And he can hold this no problem. Again, real time posing here. I, this is every type of look that that war bear was trying to do with the, with that gladiator look. So um, this is there. This is doing it so much better. He also though has two alternate feet, which I am really tempted to tr uh, switch onto them because it's the rhino feet. The human feet are cool, and I just curious how well these balance. Uh, probably have to heat those feet up and heat these up to uh, get them on there. So, give me a minute. We'll see how these work for him. So, yeah, I kind of dig this. I actually really dig this. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, I think aesthetically I prefer... Uh, the rhino feet. Now I just all I had to do I literally just hit these with a hair dryer. Uh, the regular feet just popped right off fine. Oh my god! I do like though that these have the wraps. So I want to say these are still very good feet. If I didn't get these, I wouldn't be upset. Uh, but I think this just just adds that extra touch to it, you know, you know, to set it off from the Minotaur. Which I don't know if that. I mean, I don't have that one. I don't know if it came with hooves. But these definitely help. Um, I haven't checked to see if he can do the running pose with him yet. So let me see. Let's see if we can do that here right now. 
I'm gonna have that post there, that there, that there, that there. There, there. I am not Jay Hernandez. Okay, cool. I like. For some size comparisons, here is the orc bounty hunter. And like I said, when I first saw pictures of him, I honestly thought they were just using this, bo reusing this body. I was, I am, have never been more wrong. Uh, obviously, size difference. I mean, yes, they're both red and they're bulky. And I mean, there's how many, only so many, some, only so many ways you can do the same thing, but they are definitely different bodies, different texturings, different joint structures to it. Yeah. So they do pair well together though. And here he is, here he is with the Memory Toys War Bear. Uh, again, uh, if I took the time and probably fought and put the, that armor on him, I'm sure they would look good going against each other. But even as they are, they pair beautifully together. I am very surprised. Here he is with Spring. I like, I think, I don't know why this is my favorite. Just the fact that Spring being so small, uh, they contrast so well. Uh, and the, again, the texturing all work. So I cannot wait for Autumn, by the way. But Spring, he and Spring look fantastic next to each other. And here we are with the Nada Toys Wukong. Again, it works, I think. It, if you collect this type of 5K stuff, this these third party figures, this is great. Uh, finally, I wanted to, last two comparisons. I wanted to compare it next to the Hasbro Dungeons and Dragons Albear. Um, I think also this works out really well. I don't know if she's still available on Amazon, but that's where I got her from. Just I, I don't pay full price for this, but if you can get it for fifteen bucks, it's worth it. Quick review. Uh, and finally. Your average six inch scale Marvel Legend. Just to really kick in the scale of how big this guy is. So, yeah. Remember when I was working with Warbear way back when? And, yeah, it was so, so long ago. <laughs> but I was compl saying how it, it didn't feel, you know, I felt lacking with him. Uh, you know, I was expecting one thing and I got another. I it just didn't feel like I got my worth with it. That is the opposite with this guy. Uh, I really wasn't planning on getting him, to be honest. But uh, it was one of those deals I couldn't say no to. And he exceeds all... He exceeded all my expectations. I was expecting something, frankly, more bulky. I mean... I can't say he's perfect there's definitely some uh, I don't want to say shortcomings to him I mean I would love more butterfly joint I would love I mean this I don't know if you saw this th th this is just a loose piece right here that's twi that was twisted around with that last pose um, but this is just if you want a big massive beast figure this will absolutely suit those needs. This isn't everybody's niche. In fact, this really wasn't my niche for, to be honest. I don't collect Mythic Legions. If you do, this guy would pair so well with them. Um, I really like the Rhino feet. I think I'm going to keep them with those. Uh, I don't know if I, I didn't even mention, these actually have peg holes at the bottom, so you could use a NECA stand or something just to give that extra added balance to it, which is a really nice touch for something this size. Or even a McFarlane stain if you're not using it. Uh, the, this head here is a little on the loosey-goosey side. Um, and I can't get him to do the splits, you know? Or do... I haven't mean, tried doing a daddy's home kick type of thing. But, well. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think he can do the daddy's home kick. Or if he can, it's not with not with this foot. That's yeah. No, I can't. I can't get him to do the daddy's home kick. Trademark, by the way. That's my to that's totally my thing. Oh, never mind. Boom. Daddy's home. Works for me. It works for me. So this is a. Uh, this figure completely exceeded all my expectations. I absolutely can fully recommend. I you can still find him on uh, 5K Toys. He's like 70 bucks there plus shipping. And I think you will be if this is if this is your niche, I think you'll be more than pleased. But let me know your thoughts down below. That's what those comments are for. Do you have this guy? Do you want this guy? Do you need this guy? Did I influence you? That's what that's for. That, that's, let me know down below. Hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Um, as I love to say, stuff is on the way. We'll have plenty of cool things, and we're going to keep on working through that 2023 backlog. But most importantly, most imp as always, until next time, take care. Peace.